Okay. Uh, look, we'll start by a sort of basic introduction. My name's Glenn Sutton. Uh, my company is MG Copy and Print Solutions. And uh, I was going to be running a, a sales training course for Lucy and Nick, who are two. Well, Lucy's very new. She's not actually physically joined us yet. So. Uh, uh, she was only appointed on Friday, but Nick's been with us sort of three months now. So it was, was my intention to run a basic sales training course for my company, um, albeit small as we are. Um, but through the Tameside business family that I'm involved in, um, we were at a, a PR meeting a few weeks ago, and it was sort of suggested that there wasn't enough being done for people wanting to learn basic selling skills, and that was obviously come from Julie. And I offered the services I rolled the course out to basically everybody involved uh, because I just felt that with the Terms Life Business Family I've had so much given to me in terms of resources and been able to tap into resources that usually I'll come to our size wouldn't be able to tap into. So for me this is just a sort of bit of payback. I mean, if I can get something back to you I'm quite happy to do so. A um, little bit about who we are and, and what we do. Uh, MG Copy and Print Solutions, we've been trading now approaching three years although I've actually got 30 years experience within the copying industry um, through, through different levels. I've, I've worked at director level previously, I've worked at salesman level, I've worked at everything in between. Um, the reason for going effectively on my own three years ago was I was working for a large organisation and all they were interested in was corporate business and I just felt that small commercial businesses weren't being looked after and that's the reason that we moved forward. Um, we now employ uh, three direct, sorry, three subcontract service, engineer, service engineers. There's myself and my wife that sort of run the business, and obviously we've got Nick and Lucy. Um, we're looking to expand even further. We're in an office about this size, which I would class as an incubation site period over the last three years. We're actually going to be taking four times the space of this area down there later on this week. So we're going through quite an expansion program, what we think. Okay, so moving on. We'll just cover some important basics first, uh, and, and they are important these. The first one is the myth of gift of the gab. Uh, in my experience, when the people say, oh, he's got, oh, he can sell anything, he's got the gift of the gab, in, my experience of that is that most people have got the gift of the gab, miss more business, they talk themselves out of more business than they actually get. And I was taught something very, very early, early on in my selling career, you've got two ears and one mouth, you use them in that proportion. Listen rather than talk. Um, the next one I picked up, uh, Richard knows outside of what I do here, I'm actually involved with gymnastics. Um, I got involved through my children and I started out, foolishly started helping out one Saturday morning and I've ended up coaching and judging gymnastics now. And one of the things that I learned very early on in gymnastics was a, a, a phrase from a very experienced gymnast and coach, he said, your mind is like a parachute. Do you know what that means? It only works when it's open. So don't close your mind to anything, either as a salesperson, and try and encourage anybody you're dealing with to have an open mind as well and not have any preconceived ideas. Okay? It is significant and you'll see why when we come on later on. Never be confrontational. Again, I've seen, I've, I've had, I've run sales forces up to 14, 15 salesmen, uh, and I've had couple of them back in some time, oh, he didn't get the better of me, oh, I had him sorted out. Yeah, you won the argument, but you didn't win the deal. Because they'll make it more difficult. If you're confrontational with them, they're not going to want to deal with you. Do not quote negatives. Now, put something there that called pink, ele pink elephants. Because if I say to you, don't think of pink elephants, what are you thinking of now? Pink elephants. So, again, <laughs> don't come across with any negatives. Okay, be positive in everything that you do. Avoid using industry jargon. Our industry is the worst in the world for that, and hands up, I still fall into it sometimes. Uh, Nick's smiling there because he's seen it. We have, obviously what we sell is photocopiers, and the bit on the top of the photocopier, where you don't have to lift the lid up, it's called a document feeder. And they have there's different types of document feeders, but one is what they call a recirculating automatic document feed which enables us to do things like double-sided copying. So it will turn the original over, that's why it's called recirculating. I would just call it RADF. So you go to a customer and say, do you want RADF with that machine? I don't know what you mean. Okay, so avoid using your industry jargon. Use your words, use the correct words all the time on it. 
This is a, I've never been afraid of taking somebody else's idea and pretending it's my own. Uh, this was, we were at a charity event for, uh, is it lymphoma cancer? Is that, is that right? I forgot the right pronunciation of it. Um, we went to a charity do it. Unfortunately, a friend of ours lost her life through it, and we went to a charity do it a couple of weeks ago. And a guy who suffers from this but has, has got over it, his opening words were knowledge conquers fear. And I thought that was a, it's a wonderful statement. Very, very emotive at the time, but I think it works in our industry, in our energy industry. Um, a lot of people who haven't got the knowledge are frightened when they go out there. They're frightened of presenting themselves, presenting the company. And also, if you can't project that knowledge to a prospective client, the client has that fear and closes up and, and will not give out the information that you need. Okay, so that's nothing really directly to do with selling. I think that really is, is perhaps to do with just general business sense. But again, take these things on board, use them if you think you can use them.